light. Science defines it as radiant energy, something that makes things visible or affords illumination. The Bible mentions light 237 times, beginning with Genesis. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. However, in time, a new darkness crept into the world. The darkness of separation from God's eternal love. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people. But through the words of the prophets, God promised to send a new light, one that would illuminate not the earth, but the very heart of humanity. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn.
is only one of many promises revealed in Scripture. In Psalms, we find promises of strength and peace. The Lord gives strength to His people. The Lord blesses His people with peace. Promises of help and assurance. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. And Isaiah tells of the promise of God's very presence. The sun will no more be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Perhaps the most astounding promise of all came to a young girl named Mary. The angel Gabriel told her she would experience something miraculous, and that through her, the light of God's love would enter the world and shine through all generations. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The sun shall be no more your light by day. No for brightness shall the moon adorn a night. But the Lord will be your glory, the land to light away. The Lord will be your everlasting light. The hungry and forsaken will be blessed. The weary and forlorn find peace and rest. As the brightness of the dawning illuminates the sky, the Lord will be your power, strength, and God.
Thank you.